Hello Aries, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I already posted the past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this new person feel about Aries? Okay. Oh, so we have the sun, Leo energy. We have the page of wands. We have the Page of Swords. This person could be younger than you. They don't have to be. Right away, I heard student. So someone could be in school. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's them. I mean, someone here is definitely interested in you. They're really curious. They want to see where this could go here because I feel like you sort of give off this energy here, Aries. Like you're, um, I feel like you speak about really po like positive things. Like despite all of the maybe, you know, difficulties in the world that are constantly going on I feel like you sort of have this mindset of I'm trying to look more at the positive or what's really good you might be practicing gratitude um this person just feels like you have a like a it's coming through sorry Aries like you're, you're fulfilled in your life like I kept hearing your life your life and I was trying to understand what the full sentence was there but like you you really try to look at what's good not what's bad um not that there isn't any but so I, like this person's very interested in you i feel like there's an attraction here there's definitely some chemistry here um this person i feel like wants to like pick your brain and like see what's on your mind here um i mean they could be checking out your pictures if you have social media or your videos or whatever it might be they could be asking mutual friends i'm seeing like a um classroom like a big like university setting and I feel like you might like catch this person looking at you or something like that um so that could be confirmation for you but yeah there's definitely someone here who's very interested in you they want to see uh where this could go anything else for how this person feels we have the knight of wands and the eight of swords okay so uh, whether you're aware of it or not here Aries there's someone here who kind of worries that you might play them a little bit or that you're not really um, looking for anything committed or long term maybe that's not the case at all uh, maybe it's just the environment that you're in that you meet this person but there's someone here who's kind of overthinking it a lot um, tell me more about this eight of swords three of swords I kept seeing that at the bottom of the deck I feel like this person is worried that someone else might be catching your eye, um, that someone else might be more interesting, that they don't even know, maybe they don't even know if you're already committed elsewhere, um, or if you, you know, have uh, just another connection that you might ha have a stronger connection with. There's just sort of like this fear that this person thinks you would, you would break their heart. So, um, you radiate this positive energy, but this person kind of worries that you might hurt them in some way. Now, Three of Swords can represent a third party situation in that it's romantic, um, but the third party could also be maybe this person feels like your work or your school is very important to you and that would take priority or family or, um, you know, just your own independence, right? Third party doesn't always have to be there's someone else that you're romantically involved with. They just feel like you could break their heart, basically, like, like something else might be more important. Um, so that is coming through there. Um, Aries, this person could be a Leo, like I said, or a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a little bit of fire here too. Aries, Leo, Sag. 
let's see this person's actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? Okay, we did get the Six of Swords, and then this one kind of uh, slid out there. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Magician, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Ace of Cups. So someone here is really going to do whatever it takes to get your attention here, I feel. I feel like um, they're going to come in slow but steady here. I feel like this is someone who's consistent. So someone who's um, going to consistently show you interest here. I feel like they're trying to get to the point where they can feel comfortable enough to let you know, like, hey, I have feelings for you. I want to see where this can go. This is more than just, you know, I think you're cute or... <clears throat> I find it interesting how my throat just went there. So when this person talks to you, they could like lose their footing a little bit. Um, they could get nervous to talk to you. I feel like this person here, tell me about the Six of Swords. We have Gemini, Libra energy here. We have the Hanged Man, Pisces energy. We do have the Devil, Capricorn energy. There's sort of a fear here that this person might take too long. The Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy, but it's a solid energy. This person is like once they're in, they're in kind of deal. They're very dedicated. I feel like they're very loyal. They might be that kind of person who has like friends from, you know, years ago. Um, this person believes in loyalty, in, in having people's backs, keeping your word basically. So there's kind of a fear here that if this person takes too long, if they um, kind of stay stuck a little bit here, that it, it might not work between the two of you, or it could be like too late. Tell me more about the devil. Three of wands. Yeah, it's just like it's taking too long to get here. So even though this per it looks like this person's coming in with some sort of message letting you know how they feel, there's like this lingering fear in the back of their mind that I took too long to say it or, you know... Um, Aries, you know, has other things going on. Or like I said, there could be other connections or more important things. Like this person is kind of in their head a lot. You might not recognize this, you know, on the outside, but I feel like I'm even having trouble with my words in this reading. Like I um, I feel like I've stuttered a little bit. I, I have a hard time getting out what I'm trying to say. So you could notice that with this person. Um, I feel like they have a lot on their mind. It's just hard for them to get it out. So I, I feel like this person is definitely coming forward here, but there's like this constant fear. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please, Spirit. <clears throat> the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. This is someone who wants commitment. Like I said, Aries, once they're in, they're in. Um, so I feel like the fear here is that this person doesn't know where you're at. They don't know if you want that commitment. They don't know. Um, they kind of feel like they're taking a risk a little bit here. Um, they're going to pull out all the stops, though, with this magician card. I feel like this person, you know, they might be big into manifesting as well. But this is someone who I feel like they're um, going to try a little bit of everything to kind of get your attention here and, and make this work. But this is someone who wants commitment. This is someone who... I mean, at least that's what their actions are saying. They want they want a commitment here with you. Um, once they're in, they're in. They really want to see where this can go because they're developing strong feelings for you with that Ace of Cups there, um, Aries. So let's see their intentions, though. What is this person's true intentions with Aries? So yeah, like I said, expect a message. Oh, wow. Ten of Cups, Aries. The Seven of Wands. Tell me more about this person's intentions. The Nine of Swords. They're trying to keep their anxieties and their racing thoughts, their mind sort of um, to themselves. They don't want you to know that about them. We got Death, Scorpio Energy, and then we got the Three of Swords. So you see, I feel like this person wants happily ever after here with you, Aries. Like this person feels like this could really be very fulfilling. Like they could be very happy with you. They want to make you happy. I feel like they've already sort of pictured what your relationship could look like. Even if it is brand new, I feel like this person can already see a future here with you. But what they're trying to do here as well is really not let you know that this person they don't want you to know that they have anxiety, that they think about this a lot, that their mind races, that they don't want to come off as, I just heard like that person. So, I mean, what what is that person? We, it's debatable, right? But they don't want to come off as clingy. They don't want to come off as insecure. They don't want to come off as they don't, you know, um, have a strong mindset here. 
I feel like this is someone who really wants this chance with you, but they kind of, they really want to keep this part to themselves as well. I feel like this is someone too who sees this as an opportunity to start fresh, but there's like this fear really lingers with them. Tell me about that three of swords. We got the king of pentacles, interesting. And we got the tower. Okay, and I see the five of cups at the bottom. This is very, very, very specific, so don't take it if it doesn't resonate. This person could have been left or um, chosen, not chosen, sorry, over someone else who maybe was more in a position of power or who um, had more money or who was just more established in some way. And it was like very sudden, very shocking to them. So for instance, you know, um, I keep going back to student. I don't know if someone is a student or not, but say there was like a group of friends and, and this person was like, they had their best friend and they were both students and they both said, okay, this is how we're gonna, you know, do um, the project or whatever. And then they find out that that friend actually went behind their back and like went to the professor and said, well, this was all my idea and like took all the credit or something like that. This person was really hurt by that. I know that sounds like a silly example maybe, but this person was really, really hurt by that. Like it was, there was something here, um, it could have been a work situation that they felt like sort of backstabbed by someone. Um, they could have been left by an ex-partner for someone who was, you know, like a business person or something like that. There was something here very shocking and they feel like they felt less than than this other person because I'm getting like this younger vibe or like this student vibe. So even if this person is older in age, they might feel inexperienced in something or at least they felt inexperienced um, in comparison to whoever this other person was. So um, <clears throat> there's kind of that lingering fear, but they're also trying to not let that stop them from pursuing this here with you because there are strong feelings here. So we have lots of Scorpio energy. I'm seeing the five of cups at the bottom. Yeah, it's like this person kind of like thinks about the past a lot. They just don't want it to repeat. Um, so yeah, they're really gonna try and hide from you that they're not, that they, they have racing thoughts, sorry, that their mind sort of plays tricks on them a little bit. They don't want you to know this about them because I feel like there's like a bit of like embarrassment, like shame here. Like they don't want to come off like, um, like they like again like they don't have a strong mindset because they see you as someone with a very strong mindset Aries someone who's like kind of like the the light in the room you light up a space so they don't want to damper that in any way but this is someone who wants happily ever after with you tell me more about that ten of cups the high priestess the seven of swords these are two very different energies so this is like your intuition and this is maybe you know I feel like this person doesn't want you to know that they feel this like intuitive pull towards you, that there's something telling them I need to come towards Aries. Again, I feel like this, look out for seven, seven as well. I feel like this person is really trying to come off like an emperor, someone who's like very strong minded, very strong willed, like nothing bothers them. They've got everything figured out. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like there's like this need for this person to just like embrace where they are. And I feel like you'll accept them where they are, Aries, but they try to, they try to be more than, um, so we have Pisces energy here. Yeah. I feel like this person is going to try and hide from you how much they actually want this, but this person's intentions like look really good. Um, what's the potential outcome though? Let's see that. Oh, look at that. The Hierophant again. So it looks like this could result in higher level of commitment. I mean, if you want it, Aries, they definitely do. That hasn't changed. Um, anything else about the potential outcome? Ooh, we got the nine of cups and then the four of pentacles just like, ooh, and look what was behind the four of pentacles, the lovers, Gemini energy. This person, ooh, I got chills, Aries. This person does not want to let you go. If you are willing to give this person a chance and, and you know, let them in, even though they might be a little nervous or they might take a little longer, I feel like this is someone who really wants to make you happy, um, feels very fulfilled with you. They feel like you're a dream come true here. I mean, this person's falling in love with you or will, right? Um, they're choosing you. They're choosing this. Now, it's interesting because I always say at the beginning of my readings, I do love readings. Love can be romantic. It can be friends. It can be family. But throughout this whole reading, it felt romantic to me. Um, obviously take it as it resonates. If, if it's just a friend, it, it could, 
you know, it could still be your reading, um, but I'm getting a strong, like, romantic feelings in this reading. Um, so yeah, this looks really good. This looks like this is someone who means what they say, they say what they mean, um, they wear their heart on their sleeve. You know, this is someone who, what, what, like I said, once they're in, they're in. So this looks really, really good, Aries. Um, if you're looking for this, this person's coming in. They might have taken a little while to get here, but but they're solid. Um, I feel like they're just trying not to come off as too nervous in front of you. How will Aries know who this is? We have the Five of Wands. Interesting. We have that Page of Swords again. And we have Strength, Leo Energy. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Queen of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like this is someone who... It could be an air sign or a Leo. But I feel like this is someone who... I feel like they've had to cut a lot of people out of their life. So they might tell you this. They might tell you... Like I said, I keep going back to like that scenario with like a friend sort of betraying them. Or someone like going behind their back. Or like you know, um, I feel like this is someone who very loyal. Once they're in, they're in, they've been through a lot, you know, they've overcome a lot, but if you, if you cross this person too many times, I feel like they're not afraid to be like, it's done. Like we're done. Um, it's not that you don't want to be on this person's bad side, but it feels like once, once you've reached that, like this person gives a lot of chances. And then once you've gone past that there there's no coming back it's kind of how it feels so again I'm getting like a student vibe or like a younger vibe this person could be studying right now um they could just be like a bookworm someone who likes to read a lot someone who's always kind of you know expanding their mind in some way taking a course or something like that um but this person is a giver like they they really will give once they're in any advice for Aries we have the four of swords so take your time to think about it too. Like you don't have to rush into anything. Um, but then we did get the 10 of pentacles and we got the two of wands. I mean, like I said, if you want long-term with this person and you want commitment with this person, you don't have to worry about them straying. I feel like this is a loyal energy. This is someone who will be there. You just kind of have to decide what you want for your future, right? I feel like... Um, Yeah, you just have to have to think about exactly what you want and it's it's there's potential here. I don't feel like this person is going anywhere either. Even if you said, I just want to be friends, um, I feel like this person would respect that or friends first, let's get to know each other first. But the potential outcome is telling me it becomes a lot deeper and this person doesn't want to let you go. So you have someone very, very loyal here, uh, Aries. Really good energy. Messages for Aries. We did get pregnancy, someone is expecting. So it doesn't have to be you or them. Could be you just found out someone is, is expecting and that's just confirmation this is your reading. Um, but if it is you, congratulations, that's amazing. Um, we did get liar, be careful of someone sneaky. I'm gonna pull a card on that. Because for some reason I feel like it's about the pregnancy. Did someone lie about a pregnancy or? Someone didn't tell about a pregnancy. We did get Mercury retrograde, electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. So make sure you are asking lots of questions here. This one just like slid out of the deck. We got sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Um, so again, could be confirmation if that's just like a recent conversation you had with someone or something like that. Um, I mean, it could be you here. We did say, we did get give it time. Everything in divine timing, let things flow. Right, so like I said, this person's not going anywhere. Um, I see date night at the bottom. What is this liar? I said other deck. What is this liar card? Okay, eight of wands. Something that's happening very quickly. The nine of swords. The seven of cups. I mean, you might have options right now, Aries. You might have more than one person you're interested in or talking to. If there's someone who wants to move things very quickly and gives you anxiety, makes you overthink about the situation, what if, what if, what if, or you only feel good when you're physically with them, 
and when you're apart from them there's like this this anxiousness um be careful of that because i feel like this person is slow and steady with the knight of pentacles this is someone who's like willing to take it slow willing to build with you you know willing to see where it goes and it ends up really good i feel like there's someone else here who's like quick 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 there's like a lot of communication a lot of um energy being exchanged but it's confusing there's like mixed signals here anything else about that um death could be with the scorpio could be something you just ended ace of wands could be something that was like very physically charged a lot of chemistry um could be someone who's kind of trying to rush into being physical with you um yeah take it as it resonates but let's see whoa we got helpful people so turn to those you can trust to maybe help out with this situation we got choose a new direction because i feel like if you're currently talking to someone who's really trying to rush things with you or who already did rush things with you that's not this new energy so and then we got recovery so someone could be in recovery i see look for a sign at the bottom um i said not those not those okay that's not usual but i'm gonna listen messages for aries please okay right away we got unfinished symphony there's there's a this has been happening aries where like a, a past energy or someone else is coming through um in these new love readings and there as i'm saying that we also got never ending story so unfinished symphony never ending story um there could be someone that you're currently dealing with who you feel like it's kind of never ending with this person um I feel like it just kind of hijacked the reading here a little bit, Aries. So, I mean, like I said, it looks really good with this new person. I'm going to read these messages, but there could be someone else who comes back in. Again, check out the past reading. I'll post a link for you um, because there could be something in that message for you pertaining to whoever this might be. Um, but let's see. We got Unfinished Symphony, which says, Moving on is difficult when love lingers. Things are left unsaid and you haven't had the opportunity for closure in your relationship and in your heart. You can still feel bound up in relationships when closure is denied you. It's important to achieve this for yourself. Write that letter, make that call, or have that conversation over a cup of coffee. For peace of mind, accept matters as they are, make amends if need be, and declare your feelings even if only to yourself. Be clear about what was left unresolved and close the door on the past so you can set yourself free only then can new love blossom right so i feel like there, there is another energy you might be dealing with or if you're not aries could come back and be very tempting right um but who's confusing and who sends mixed messages might have other options right i feel like they try to rush things along here um, but in order for the new to come in, I feel like this has to be closed out here. Um, someone might be a piano player. I'm hearing, I don't, I couldn't tell you what song, but also the piano here. Um, you got like <laughs> two cards here back to back, like unfinished symphony, never ending story. Like this is, that doesn't usually happen here, Aries. So they're, they're, pay attention because I feel like there's a strong message here. Um, sometimes your heart enters into a contract with another that results in pain, not because of abuse or neglect, but for other more complex reasons. Shame, fear of intimacy, and low self-esteem are the greatest challenges to the success of a relationship. Consider how valuable this knowledge is, however. Right now, you have an opportunity for important healing, but you must reflect on the stories that you weave about love, connection, abandonment, rejection, and loneliness. Not only do you need to begin a new story, you need to forgive yourself for telling yourself the old ones. Have compassion for the part of you that believed all those narratives. None of them were ever true anyway. All right, so you might feel like this with some, if you feel like this with some sort of energy, like lost, confused, like you're not yourself, um, you know, this fairy's sort of wings are down and she just looks tired and exhausted. Um, that could be a sign about uh, uh, an energy here. We have self-criticism, the wounded ego, wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. 
yeah um and then we did get happy happy 26 but it is in the reverse so again let's read the protection message which says lighten up because this is the time to be ridiculous and silly see the world through the eyes of a clown and don't take yourself or any situation right now too seriously have fun be playful and make laughter the order of the day you'll be surprised by how everything just seems to fall into place when humor leads the way being happy and lighthearted is a wonderful icebreaker Life is meant for play as well as work, for laughter as well as tears, for celebration as well as focus. Spirit wants to sparkle through you today. Smile and enjoy each breath and each moment. Miracles lie in the silly things today. So first of all, I'm sending lots of love and light, Aries, because I know when situations linger and that something feels unfinished, um, there's a lot of pain. It, it's not easy. It's not so easy to just let it go or, um, you know, move on from it. But give yourself that closure, whatever that looks like, even if it's just like writing a letter to this person and like never sending it. Um, and then Spirit's really asking you to sort of step into this positive energy, right? Because it's there. This new person sees it. Right, so I feel like if you're sort of feeling down right now, as soon as you step into this happy, happy energy, this person sees that, they become very curious about you and like this new love can blossom, right? But it kind of has to be after whatever this unfinished business is um, clears, right? So, but if you still have questions, Aries, um, and you need more clarity, check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. Um, so check that out. So let's see. Okay, they said take that, the W fell out. So these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates, take it as it resonates. If something here does not resonate though, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we have J. U, T, W, H, the number seven, and the number eight. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated with you, Aries. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and light.